morning from Baldy Mountain area. This is really cool. It's actually like one of the closest spots to Los Angeles to like wild camp. It's really nice here. Um, it's really surreal because of like the, na the forest fire that came through here. I, I'm guessing last summer and wiped out the, all the bushes here. It's got a real kind of like surreal nightmarish look to it. It's really cool. Pretty. Um, we're gonna hit the road today, warm up a little bit. It is quite cold, even though we're only at about 2,000 feet. We're meeting up tonight with uh, somebody who watches the videos, his name is Jeff, and uh, some of his family. They've agreed to uh, host us up for a little dinner, and we're gonna get, uh, you know, laundry and shower and the other kind of like amenities. I, this, is what, this is where I'm getting most of my laundry and showers from these days. Um, it's from, uh, often from just like meeting people with, who have houses and stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I haven't actually been to a YMCA in a long time. Just another day in the van life. I'm very relaxed. Oh, and it was just barely humid enough last night to use the dehumidifier for the first time. Check this out. Just got like a little tiny bit of water. <laughs> but there was some condensation up on the roof. Just a tiny bit of it and it's like totally gone now. It's very, very dry. So yeah, guess it works. Hello from the beautiful Malibu beaches. We're just gonna chill out here for a bit. I'm gonna try doing some surfing. The waves aren't very big, but uh, I'll make do. I think it's high tide right now. Anyway, I think the waves are usually better at low tide. That's okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't need big waves, I kind of suck anyway, so. We'll do it, Mark's gonna try and film me a bit, and Mark's gonna step foot in the ocean and freeze his giblets off. Okay. Should be good. <laughs> All right, so we just spent about an hour walking up and down the beach. I don't know if it's the tide or the time of the year or maybe this beach just sucks, but like uh, it was on two different spots online saying that this beach was where it was at for surfing. 
these waves are terrible just dreadful um, and the beach itself it looks sandy on the surface but like right when the bra wave breaks right at that exact point the jagged rocks start and it just continues out in varying levels it's just it's a bad beach to go surfing plus on top of it i suck at surfing so kind of a frustrating hour and uh yeah i'm looking forward to like not sucking at surfing and being able to actually enjoy it because right now it's like 99 percent misery and suffering with like one percent of ecstasy when you're actually up there on the wave and then the rest of the time just sucks <laughs> Also, Champ took 95 poops across the uh, across the beach. Champ, 95. Champ. Champ, why don't you take another poop before you get up? You pooping machine, that's all you do. This is full of shit, that dog. Yep. <laughs> It's a bit of a downer this afternoon. Um, surfing's harder, man. It's harder than I thought it would be. I think the first time I ever got up, I was like a teenager, and I was in Santa Barbara, and I was riding a longboard, and I was weigh I weighed like 160 pounds at the time. So like 160 pounds on a big, big longboard. It was super easy to get up because it's like standing on a like dock. But now I'm on a shortboard, and it's just a lot more challenging. Uh, so yeah. I'm finding that it's a little bit a little bit harder to get up but it doesn't stop me from wanting to do it so i will do it eventually but for right now we're gonna go meet up with jeff who watches the videos and uh hang out with him and his crew and i think we're gonna go out and grab some food too so let's go do that mark's hungry mark's always hungry yeah starving <laughs> always hungry <laughs> So we've been hanging out with Jeff here. We just made up with him. We've been talking for like two hours here, just catching up, meeting him, getting to know each other. It's kind of cool. He's helping us out with like laundry and showers and stuff, which is super nice. Really like that <laughs> when we meet people from the internet. Just love meeting friendly people from the internet. We're gonna go out for dinner with him, check out some, uh, some of the stuff he's got planned out in Ventura. It's kind of nice letting him steer, letting him decide where we're gonna go eat. So it's up to him. I think it's gonna be pretty fun to go out tonight with like um, these YouTube people, you know. Who think I'm amazing and, and think you're just okay. Yeah, yeah I know. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a cool switch of, you know, well, you're personas. Usually, yeah, you're exactly. usually the cool one, are you? Yeah, yeah exactly. So, you know. I'm famous. You don't know this about me because Mark's <laughs> like my best friend since forever. But I'm actually famous and it's a real big shock to him. Yeah. But only famous to like a few people. Yeah. Some places. But I think it makes, it gives you good perspective because like, you really realize that you know these people have people in their lives who think that they're you know normal people too so i am almost normal yeah but you know normalish no. <laughs> 